Okay, so got a coach in the shop. Jeez, uh, I think it's like a 97, 98 Beaver. Uh, it did have a front end tire blowout. That's not why it's here. It's got a small list, but it's a big list for what it is. During that blowout, the uh, tire damaged the generator exhaust muffler uh, flex pipe. So I've got to change that out. Uh, the front jack isn't retracting. The dash AC doesn't blow cold and the dash air doesn't uh, have any sort of control as to where the vents, what it's coming out of. So I'm gonna try to tackle hopefully the easy things first, at least get an idea what might be the issue. So on most of these motorhomes, especially these diesels, they have a vacuum generator uh, that actually uh, moves the servos inside. But on these early ones, for whatever reason, they decided that they could make vacuum using air pressure. So using, I guess, some sort of venturi. So that's the vacuum reservoir. Uh, you got the uh, generator right there. And I guess that's an air valve that turns on uh, when the dash is calling for, uh, you know, fan. Go ahead and go inside here. All right, I'll go ahead and start it up. turned on let's see where it's coming out of right now I don't know everywhere but nowhere All right, so it's coming out the floor right now and it's blowing well I can hear this guy Trying to make vacuum. So I guess that's a good sign. It is making vacuum. Alright. Maybe we just have a vacuum leak inside. That'll be nice. A lot of times the heater control valves on these or the uh, Max Air servo it has a blue vacuum plastic line hooked up to it and for whatever reason that blue plastic just disintegrates. This is it right here. Alright, we'll take a look at that. Uh, or this is actually electrically uh, controlled heater control valve. A lot of times the uh, vacuum line to the heater control valve is also off. I've tried um, turning the uh, AC off of uh, Max Air, just put it on recirculate, or not recirculate, just normal. But the uh, vacuum leak persists, so it's not on that servo. So, the next more likely place is going to be the main, the main supply, vacuum supply, so I have to take the dash apart for that. Well, I definitely got vacuum right there. see any of these being loose so I guess put this back together and everything I thought was gonna be easy not easy so now I have to go to each servo is right there so there's one servo down there so I think what I'm gonna 
do is get my vacuum pump out. All right, got my Mighty Vac. And my first aid kit, because you know, it was a good box. All I'm going to do is pull vacuum on each one of those lines and see if they hold vacuum. Ugh, break tiles. Alright, let's try blue. Blue should be to the uh, max error return or recirculate and I would say <laughs> it's doing pretty well so that wasn't a problem okay let's do white that should be one of the directional ones <laughs> Well, that's not holding vacuum, so white might be a problem. What about red? Red ain't a problem. Well, it's got a small leak, but... Nothing vital. I guess it just leaves green, because black is supply. Usually green is heater control valve. I would say white would be first. You have to chase out white. That's where you're going to be heading. There is that white vacuum line, and it's not hooked up to anything. Uh, I just don't have very good access to the servo behind here, so I really will have to remove this. So, maybe if I can take these hoses off, I can get access to it. I don't know how that just falls off, though. Doesn't look like anything was... Tampered with under there, it was under carpet. Alright, push that down. Slinky, slinky. Alright, there's that. Seems like it's pretty tight. I could add an extension. But let's get this hooked up and see if it at least it solves a problem. Ugh. All right, that's done. Won't work very well unless I put my vacuum uh, the manifold back up. Oh wow, I don't know if you guys saw that, but those doors just open. Wow! Look at that, they're closing. Closes off completely, goes down to the floor. So that's by level, so it should open up a little bit. Let's smoke on me. Right, that's 
full re register. And that's max AC. So look at that. That was an actual fix. I actually fixed something. I even troubleshot it. Man, that's the first time I've ever done that. Wow. Alright, so on that item, uh, I just have to call the customer now and let them know what's going on. I can add a little bit of an extension right there. Just a, a small vacuum hose so it doesn't pull off again because it's pretty tight. Uh, but one thing at a time. At least this is fixed. I'm going to move on to the generator. Uh, thanks a lot. Okay, so my neighbor's getting this cool piece of equipment. It's like a automated CNC brake machine because he makes awesome uh, CNC plasma cutters. So it's literally machines making machines now.